Greetings and grand rising, beautiful soul. Welcome into your tarot messages for today. These are love messages for specifically Zodiac Stein Cancer. Take the messages that apply to you. Remember, view these messages as entertainment. And I hope that you can find some of the messages that are able to help you on your journey in some way, shape or form. Okay, so let's get started. This is a love reading, beautiful energy, right? So I'm shuffling and I'm getting there's an X, two of wands. That was that is probably still doing magic, magician card to block you, queen of swords, or to block the truth coming out. The sun card wanted to flip over, but it stayed stuck in the pack. So I don't know. So I'm just gonna continue shuffling. I wanted to get that out there before I like lost that energy, right? There could currently be um, a pregnancy here with the world card flipping out of the deck also. Maybe that is what they're trying to cover up. Some of them did something to you um, that they don't want you to speak about or they didn't think that you would find out. I'm getting that you're coming to the end of a cycle here. Um, uh, okay, so you're going to like be uncovering something So because you're breaking free. Like This is an egg in a shell, right, with the world card. Um, but this is the energy of someone that is cracking the shell. And if someone is cracking codes and something is about to be exposed in the whole world, like I hear a genius, because someone is coming out, someone is, I'm coming out, someone could be coming out of their shell. I'm hearing replacement. I'm hearing egg replacement also. Um, a lot of things are going to be discovered in this time. Maybe scientists, something with the scientists and spells, right? You're also going to be learning that, like I was saying, this person, they've been using spells on you. It's so beautiful. So with the page of cups in the reversal, I feel like this is the truth that we're exploring now. Because I was literally just thinking, I wonder if this person, like, you know, um, uh, like someone was pregnant, but they, they kind of miss, miss it or something like that. And then someone was covering something out up, but I feel like there is a scientist or someone investigating, like looking under, um, looking at something cells, um, underneath a microscope in order to detect the, like this could be um an autopsy as well, because someone is like examining um st I hear stem cells or whatever to see what it is made up of or see what is in it. So some of you may go do um, a test to see what components are inside of your cells. I don't know. This could be DNA. But I'm really getting someone taking a piece of uh, what looks like flesh or something. And because um, I can see it, look, it looks like it. And they're testing it out. Also, this person that was doing magic on you could have been using your clothes or your personal items, your personal this and that. This person, they were also getting readings done on you to, to like, they were like behind the scenes snooping in your personal life. High Priestess World Card. This person, they've been watching you and they've been like deliberately taking action to block you here. Either from knowing yourself or knowing the truth or both. I feel like this person, they think that they're very powerful. Like they have an upper hand because they, they think you just don't know what, what they've been doing. And I hear martial artist, yeah, the four of swords. They think you're not smart or you're, you just don't know. I'm sorry, too. You just, they think you wouldn't figure it out or figure them out or know that they are involved in these things or can do these things, whatever it is, right? Yeah, someone thought for sure they had you under like lockdown and suppression here. They thought for sure that they had you well distracted or well kept away from the truth here. They thought that you wouldn't even speak the truth or know the truth. I heard poison. I heard subliminal or I'm feeling subliminal. I feel like this person, they thought that they would mess something up. Mess it up like... Imagine something was in order. I'm getting colors in our paint, like different colors of liquid substances. And then this, like you organize something and this person messing it up. So if this is some results, there's someone sneaking around to mess up the results in some way, shape or form. Like to, to cause confusion. And then, so you're going to have to go start something out. So this could be someone trying to come around and mess up your life. Um, and then so that, I don't know, so that you'd waste time. We have the Ten of Swords ending up on the bottom of the deck here. 
all right the ten of swords so be mindful of your thoughts and people were lying on you watching you yeah the truth is coming out i also feel like you've been speaking the truth like a little bit at a time and someone can see that um yeah i feel like you've been speaking the truth you know and someone is thinking that they need to like uh like tighten up tighten up the, the loose ends or whatever tighten up the little holes that the truth can come into because with the world card like they thought they had you like surrounded or in a bubble and you wouldn't speak truth but they may be thinking like they need to um strengthen up the, the magic or whatever to keep you keep light from shining because imagine something getting holes in it right so this person thinking they need to come and mend up the holes that you're shining light through going um talking <laughs> this ten of swords card here is like also spirit and talking information lies so someone is trying to cover up some information um th yeah the, look the book energy um i heard they don't want to read you I'm feeling something spiritual going on. Oh my gosh. You know, that card flipped out so weirdly way over there on the floor. I was just reaching for it. And I felt something weird about it. Because, like, if someone does not want information to reach you. Like, I keep this card, another one is flipped out. So, let's see. We have a snake here, number seven here. But this person is not a seven. And I'm getting trickery. Because this person is not as you know as tough as they want it to up as they want to appear they are trying to use the guise of appearing as a snake and slithering and um secretive so that they can is it's like um a, an illusion so that they can appear a, a threat or a snake to you but if you really like speak the truth to this thing you're gonna see that it is it is not as powerful as you but it wants you to think so so it's the energy of someone putting on a big dragon costume um because they think that dragons are the scariest or 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 it's there's something else there's something else about um a big thing that appears and it was like mm, is it us i wonder if it is it's us it's something like us right the great and powerful but it's not exactly like that but they're not they're not that great and powerful whoever has been like doing potions talking about you doing things behind your back here with a snake card trying to secretly like get your information it's not no telling lies on you with the snake card they're not that powerful like you need to say to this person get thee behind me satan is the vibration you're not that no you don't have any power over me for real like know your place seriously get thee behind me like seriously fall in line no, my word comes first, my power comes first. Because this person was, they wanted you to think that they had something over you. Yeah. And I'm getting soulmate card again with number two here. And the, the thorns on these flowers, it makes me feel like it was a soulmate connection. However, there were little thorns in it. It wasn't perfect. And it makes me, it reminds me of poison. And I'm feeling someone wanted to like, those are anti those someone wanted to tell someone lies and they wanted them to believe them they wanted the lies to stick they wanted to maintain they wanted to make this person believe lies with the six of swords that is like your mental state your beliefs they wanted to control you they wanted you to think how they wanted you to think and um when you started to ask questions like i say when the sun started to shine out of you they thought oh my god because they're keeping an eye on you so they're thinking oh my gosh you know this person i need to mend up these little holes now so I need to shut this person's mouth or whatever so you see them trying to come around with magic this person may even show up six of swords energy however with the six of swords energy i'm feeling that you're breaking this contract you're moving on you're moving out you're moving to calmer waters here because you found out the truth you know the truth and you're separating yourself someone cannot keep lying to you someone cannot keep um misinforming you yeah because like you're moving oh my gosh i was about to say like you're moving over the horizon is the vibration so someone could also be traveling or you could be a seer you're also a light worker yeah you're a light worker someone this is your love reading you know don't forget because someone wanted to like block your love and you could have a child too like you could be a single mother or i'm tasting porridge like banana porridge or plantain porridge or something like that so be mindful of your food and also eat well yeah i would look hermit's card right someone like betraying you doing things in secret here 
taking your information, taking your energy. Someone was literally like taking from you. I want to know what they were taking from you. I want to know what it is that someone's been taking from you or hiding from you, whatever hermit is. Yeah, look at this. Someone eating food, someone like tox intoxicating someone or like, you know, when rats play around your food, it makes it poisonous. Um, so it's like, I also feel someone has been sending someone to play around your energy, to muddy up your energy, to make you feel irritated and trespassed on. But this is in the spiritual. Like, let's say someone com comes around to talk to you. You think you're just having a conversation with this person, but their intention was to mess up your vibe, mess up your intention. So the whole time you're talking to them and just something just feels so off and you just feel irritated. It's because they're not, you're not seeing it with your physical eyes, but spiritually they, that's what they came to do, to mess with you. This person could be in the law of forces. Because they've been like, someone has been watching, studying, investigating another person. Like I say, they do not want the truth exposed. They're trying to like, I hear without a shadow of a doubt. They're trying to cover it up. And they don't want you to escape if that's what's going on. <clears throat> that's why like your angels are really standing around you, you know. With this big old ball of light. Like if your angels were to move from around you or move this light field protection, which is probably you speaking your truth, this person would be able to come closer to you, but they can't access you. They're probably trying to send you messages. They're for sure spying on you. I, did, I feel like this person did not realize that you're also like a chemist. They didn't know that you can reverse spells. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Someone did not know that you can reverse karmic spells. So whatever they're trying to do to you is harder than they thought. Someone was even trying to like wash your mind or something like this. Someone was even trying to like, uh, what's that? Hold on. Like convince someone to buy out them. Persuade. Someone was trying to convince you or persuade you for your information or for you to keep quiet or something like that. I don't know if this is, if you know. Or this could be someone paying someone else here to like sh shut something, shut it, shut it down. But wow, like I say, they did not know you are a genius all on your own and you get back tenfold what you, what's yours. Someone was not counting on that here. Not really. I'm feeling someone also approaching you because you're a truth teller and, and like you're going to get a lot of money today too, whether you know it or not. Like if you believe it, the six of swords and the ten of pentacles, believe it. Because some you're going to get a whole bunch of money. I feel like this is owed to you in some way. I hear excuses. Yeah, excuses. The five of swords is next. Because someone made a wrong decision or someone was promising someone something and they could not fulfill it. Someone could not keep their word. And I feel like you had to stand up and defend and protect yourself and like cut people off from you. And this is a money. This is a love reading, but I'm getting money and um, someone you were in a relationship with. This could even be a family member. This could even be a friend. Because I feel like we start the morning off like this. Mm -mm. Six of Wands. So, the Six of Wands is you, like, being victorious. Hearing that with the Six of Swords, right? Energy. So, like, these, these are people that are no longer in your... They can't really affect you like that anymore. I feel like they stand aside and watch, right? right? Because um, you've, you've spoke the truth. You have a stance. They just are watching you, maybe with fear to see what you're going to do, what you're going to say. Bad boy. I was about to say, you know, and I, I was like, no, don't say it. It's too early. But these people are corrupt. Five of, five of wands energy. Corrupt. And they don't want you to expose them. They wanted to, like, buy you out. Oh, my God. Yeah, the ring card. Yeah, look. They're coming in with a proposal and offer. Yeah, look. They're coming to your home. They're traveling to see you. Um, this may be a car in these times, but someone is move, definitely showing up to your place, your place where you are. They're trying to find your home. They're going to come to you to make you an offer. They want to like get you a part of a contract or a deal. I'm hearing science or scientist or, D or a spell. What is it that they want? It's something about your tongue or the things that you speak. Like I was saying the truth. I hear evidence and clarity. Yeah, they wanted to shut you down. And some of them came with pretense of love. Who are these people? Angels, spirits, guides. 
you're gonna they something about you want your money back so yo i'm talking about your love reading and this is what i'm getting like this was a, something was a setup i feel like the person that you were dating i don't know which one or how long ago they 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 were like investigating you it was like it wasn't it was a facade mm -hmm. yeah look karmics and they were trying to like um with the ten of swords that's also like a sacrifice energy and they were making you false promises and filling up your head with this and that they were liars and they just did not know that you would know the truth. They did not know. It's like they thought they had this bigger head, upper hand or something. They did not know that you would see the truth of them. That they're karmics, that they're low, they're low on energy, they're low vibration. And they so they can't manifest something or do something on their own. They need your energy. They needed your energy. We don't see the devil card, but these people could be, be vampires. Because we saw the snake card. Yeah, and we're exposing them. Sunlight. That's why they don't like the sunlight. That's why they they don't like the truth. Because it burns. The truth hurts. It exposes them. And the sun makes them um makes them non existent. Because they're they are like of darkness. So they don't want the sun to come out. <laughs> yeah, the thirty three energy. These people they did not know you're a master chemist with the hermit card. You're a scientist. You you're like Christ energy here. Oh my god, the chariot. For real, for real. They didn't know what to expect. They didn't know. They underestimated you a whole bunch of lots. And I feel like you were speaking the truth to this person a lot. You know, Cancerian, you were telling them like your intuition was telling you this and that about this person. They were probably telling you it's your imagination. It's just a dream. Just a dream. So this person was thinking about, I don't know, there's an ex too that was thinking about you in some way. I guess they lost you. Um, anyway, I can relate. I'm feeling someone, they want to take something back, but they don't know how to take it back. I guess it is you. They may have lied to you about another woman here with the Empress card. Or they had a lot of women, and they just didn't know how to maintain themselves, contain themselves. And they put you, like, they put you at risk too. They did. I'm just going to tell you, this person put you at risk. Mm -hmm. Because of what they were doing. And now they're sorry is the energy. They're, they're regretful. They don't know what to do. There's so much going on around them. We have all different signs here. We have fire, air, earth here. We don't have any water yet. Yeah, there's something about a child or someone's childhood. And your innocence too. Your innocence. And I feel like you were right to stand up. If you stand up. And you spoke the truth to someone and they felt bad. I feel like you were this, you were right to have protected yourself. This is your love reading. I'm going to just move on to the last card. Empress, you're also naturally beautiful. Like I said, this angel, you're an angel of light. If you're Archangel Michael surrounding you, these people wanting to argue with you, fuss you, but they cannot hear because you're protected. You're an angel. You're a truth teller. You're a lighthouse. You're the chariot. You're everything. And you see, everything... That you want is moving into you in abundance. Like I feel happiness, health, wealth, prosperity. I li like a beautiful, healthy, wealthy life here. And your last card is the King of Swords. I hear healthy again. So I'm guessing this person is watching you. And they want to figure out when to show up. Here they are. This person, they drive a car, 33. And they're thinking of showing up to you. To speak to you. They may be thinking that they're so serious or they've made up their mind or something like that. No. So they're coming to talk with you, lady of the hour. All right. So let's see again. But of course, use your discernment. The six of swords is you have clarity. You have the truth. You have the upper hand. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. You are divinely protected. If you weren't, if you, if what you were doing wasn't important or of high orders, this be this person would not be trying to lock you down or block you or, or or find a way to get to speak with you you know so whatever information you have or whoever you are you're very powerful at this time and you're being sought out wheel of fortune and your blessings are multiplying and increasing and all the power that anyone has ever in um taken from you it's null and void for them and yours is increasing tenfolds a hundredfolds a million folds with the um 
with the, the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here. And I'm guessing like someone did not know. Someone did not know, beautiful soul, that you would ever know the truth. They just, I'm telling you, this like was super unexpected of them. They're wondering how you know. But let's move forward again and I'll catch you in your money reading to see how it really ties up with this one. Take it easy out there. All is well and all is within you. Thanks for liking the video. It means so very much. Sharing, commenting and subscribing. May all blessings return unto you. Peace.